Hello, this is Ashutosh. So, uh, there is this thing of how do you evaluate what is the price of a property? Uh, say you own a plot or a, or an old house that you wish to redevelop or sell it, and you might you might sell it to a builder or you might sell it to a self user, but the kind of price you're going to get is going to be something very similar to what a builder would pay you. I mean, I'm assuming it is not a very lavishly, nicely built house, which are uh, difficult to sell anyways, because most buyers who are going to come, they, they want to construct on their own terms, uh, especially in South Delhi, because the, the land price is so much and construction is not really that much. There are exceptions always. But let us just say we are assuming an old house and uh, you want to evaluate what should be the price. Or so say you are a buyer and you are out in the market and you want to buy a house and you want to evaluate what should be the price of a particular property. All right. So basically you need to evaluate it like a builder would evaluate. You know, how will the builder see this property and how much would he pay? Because you could say easily about 80 to 90 percent of the buyer is going to be a builder. I am talking of South Delhi colonies. Uh, you can tweak it uh, if you are in some other area. But 80 to 90 percent of the buyers is basically builders. So how does a builder evaluate this? So the first thing the builder is going to see is, OK, fine. Is the title clear? You know, there is this myth of location, location, location. That's just a myth. It's title, location, and construction for any buyer. Okay. But he's going to see how the title is, how the location is, and all that. So, uh, the first thing he's going to look at is how much would one floor here in this particular location, in this particular project, how much would one floor sell for? Now, for example, say this is uh, Gulmohar Park, for example. Yeah, and this is a 500 yard floor and maybe he says, okay, on this particular location, one floor would sell at a at an average price of 11. So, which is the price for first or second floor? So, 11. Okay, good. So, the third then that would follow would be 12, 12.5. So, he would say, okay, let's keep it as 12 for calculation purpose and basement ground may be 14.5 or so. So, now you add up those figures, 14.5 plus 11 plus 11 plus 12.5. Yeah. Whatever figure you get, you minus the construction cost. Now, this construction cost is a little tricky. Yeah. But as a rule of thumb, you can just say, uh, if it is just multiply it by 1.5, the multiply the plot size by 1.5. So it's if, it, if it's 300 square yards multiplied by 1.5, it becomes 4.5 crores, you know. So it was 300, so you multiply that by 1.5, it becomes 4.5 crores, yeah? So the, the construction cost would be around 4 to 4.5. It can again vary, it can go up to 5 crores, it could be less than 4 crores, but you know, this is talking about decent uh, construction. Say if it was 500, you could say, okay, 5 times 1.5 is uh, 7.5 crores, so that would be the construction cost, yeah? So you take the total price, you minus this construction cost yeah then you also minus uh, the price that you would pay the fee you would pay for um, uh, for the stamp duty yeah you would have to make those calculations i can make another video if you want and give you those calculations but you would have to minus you, you would have to subtract the uh, stamp duty also the brokerage when you buy the building and the brokerage you would pay when you sell the building you you have to think like a builder even if you're not a builder this video is not really for builders because builders they, they know all of this stuff <laughs> so uh, so you take the total sale price you reduce a little bit for construction then you reduce the stamp duty and the brokerage the builder would pay and that is what he would get so let us now say after doing all of those calculations, you know, the total sale was this much, you would pay this, this, this. Now you have around, uh, just as a random figure, so 35. Yeah. Now if a builder was to buy, he would not pay 35 because he has to have his profit also. Yeah. So now assuming, okay, a good builder would need at least 20% of his profit, at least, you know, if he's going to work for a long time on the, on the whole project and take all the risk associated it's just a random figure 20 18 30 yeah whatever comes to mind i mean you need to just think like a builder i would just calculate 20 percent, 25 percent max 
So 20% of three, uh, um, if we were to factor in, the price would come to somewhere like if he buys for 29 crores and he makes about 5 crores on it or he buys for 30 crores and makes 5 crores on it, it is a very feasible project for him. Yeah. But the reality is when you go and buy, uh, buy these old houses to redevelop, you don't really get uh, that good a price. You know, you are never going to find a deal which is going to give you 5 crores of profit when you spend 29, 30. Yeah. So the builder would have to take some risk and assume, okay, I'm going to make it so nice and sell it for maybe 50 lakhs higher each floor and make 2 crores extra. Or the market is going to increase or whatever. Yeah. Now, if you are a buyer and you're not a builder, you're a buyer, you're still calculating like a builder. Now you look at, okay, if a builder wants to buy it for 30, he would get it and he would do it. And if there is 80, 90 percent of, uh, of builders in the market, I mean, as buyers, how come you are getting this deal? Obviously, the builder won't take it. So it, it must be not available at 30 or 29, whatever you, uh, what is the figure you reached at? So it means, okay, the, the fair price, the market price could be about 31, 32, maybe. Yeah. If the owner is asking for, say, 35 crores, 38 crores or something like that. So he is way beyond. Yeah, and you can always have a meeting and just go and say, look, I can pay 31 or you could even say 30, who cares, yeah. Uh, but if he is asking 31 and he seems like he'll give it to you at 30 or he's asking 32 and might give it at 31, 30.5, something like that, I would say it is a very fair deal. These figures are larger. I mean, you can you can, you can can use these for 200 square yards, 300 square yards, 400 square yards, 500, 1000, whatever, yeah. But you, you do get the idea, right? Any good builder is going to evaluate it like that. You as a self-user might have to pay slightly extra. On the other hand, now if you are a seller, you're going to hear this whole story in reverse and the builders come to you, they're going to add on some more expenses to it. Look, they are into this business and they have to. And there may be more expenses that I'm not saying right now. It's just a very general breakup I'm giving. So you have to be prepared as a seller like, okay, if you think uh, the builder is asking for 11 crores in a similar location, so I will take that figure. That doesn't work because the builder is asking for 11 crores. He might be able to sell at 10 crores. In that case, you need someone who can really give you all that information, like how much is it really selling at or how much would he last close at? Or otherwise, like how much has it been sold for? We do not have these figures published online, like in the US or UK. So you, I mean, there is a bit of uh, arbitrary stuff here. I mean, you have to go through and find uh, from whatever sources you can and then use some common sense. Okay, he's asking this much. He might just reduce 7 to 10 percent. You know, this is how much this builder normally negotiates. Okay, so he's asking 11. Let us take the sale price as 10. So 10, uh, I mean, the, the whole figure would come to somewhere around, say, 44, 43, whatever. Yeah. Minus seven and a half crores minus like a crore or so. So you would get a figure, yeah? you get to maybe like 34, 35, whatever. And then you, uh, you, you take that figure and say, okay, the, the builder would need three, four crores of profit. So the, the price would be 31. Yeah. It should be 31. Okay. Uh, if there is any other thing that you would like clarified, of course, this is a very general rundown and there is a lot more things uh, that come into play. That's why you need people who are experienced in this thing, your friends, relatives, your brokers, some other builder who could help you out. But this is the, the most general way of evaluating a plot or an or a old house that uh, you're selling or buying. All right. This is Ashutosh Bogra, KRC Real Estate, your real estate agent. I'll see you again.